Hi everybody, welcome to Ballyherm and Men's Shed. We're going to pop inside now and have a cool look at the guys, probably have a chat with one or two of these guys and see exactly what they're doing. At the moment, they're preparing for the Christmas fair, which is coming up in three or four days time. So we're going to see some of the decorations and some of the toys that they've been making. So if you come with me, we'll pop inside. Well, where it is now? We'll take a quick look in the canteen yeah. first. Hey guys, how's everybody? Alright. Fine, yes, we're grand. We're trying to get a cup of tea here now. <laughs> Don't be disturbing it. <laughs> no, sir, I've never done it. Okay. Approach with caution when you see the lads here. You should put soil on that, though, beware of Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is where most of the work is actually done, not in the, in the, the workshop itself. You can see that, that work on here. Take the sandwich again. Always be, 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 always some examples of what some of the guys are doing. We're going to see some more now. We get into the workshop. Hey, so you get it? What are you working on that here? Uh, fixing the rope for the ammo. Okay, cool. These. Great. I'm fixing this. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, there's the right one for it. I think. Yeah. Let's get that into it. Yeah. 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 Right, watch. Come on, come poke on that guy. Come on, spread it, you put a hole. Well, there's a little bit of sand here. That's just poking sorry, Johnny, right? Matt, leave us a walkthrough. Huh? Leave us a quick walkthrough. Oh, certainly, Liz. No problem. Well, this is the original part of the shed that we had before we got that part there and the canteen below. We only had to get in that about six months ago, eight then. months ago. So we're working on that to be insulated and that for the all that there. That's where we could cool. eat sandwiches without having uh, kind of shit on us like sawdust and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So the whole trick was like we needed more room because we had 22 members here, right? So we had to turn up but in this confinement space here. Need more room. Yeah. 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 Who was just had to come here to help and save the crowd, like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. there was actually too many in before we copped on. But we, we got the, uh, the, the extension there, so that was a great bonus to us. But um, the amount of people who want to join it now, at first it was a kind of taboo to join the Manchester. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was. It was actually like, kind of, we, we, were, we were struggling here with about six or seven members. We were struggling to get members. No, we have a waiting list of about 20 to yeah. get in here, yeah. yeah. Like, there's a huge change in the perception of what man sheds are. Yeah. And when yeah. fellas come in, because it's very hard to entice men in. Women are coming to be nosy and have a look around. <laughs> fellas are different. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? And uh, it's very hard to get fellas to kind of to buy into this. But when they buy in and they say there's no women and they can say what they want and have the buzz and have the crack, 
that they normally wouldn't have at home or when they're out in the pub or anywhere like that, where they're kind of, you can't say fuck or bollocks or whatever else you want to say, like, mm. you know what I mean? But down here you can, and no one gets offended by it. Of course, and yeah. nobody takes any, any notice of it, and I kind of, fellas will tell you, oh, fuck off you and piss off, and you know what I mean? But it's done the friendly way. Of course, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you can't do when you be outside. <laughs> See, for mental health, in an awful lot of cases, fellas like to say what's on the side. Mm. And that's why, well, in an awful lot of cases, you find uh, men up. are considered yeah. more aggressive. Well, but it's enough. not that they're more aggressive, it's they no. try to be politically correct when it's not in their nature to be so. Which one? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's a, it's, a, it's a stress relief for a lot of these men. Oh, yeah, you better believe it. Blown off yeah. of thing. Any of the results you want out there, from a mental health point of view, it's great to be able to let, let that steam off instead of it building up. Yeah, of course. You know? yeah. And dementia provides a safe environment where no one gets offended that they can actually do this. Oh yeah, yeah. Like people in here fall out now and again, but after a couple of days, then it's it's gone. Like it's gone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that'd be a big thing, sort of thing. Like you know, I mean, it's gone after a couple of days. Yeah. People get on with what they want to do and have a bit of crack, and things come back to normal, sort of thing. But like it's like anything else anywhere. Like you know, what I mean, you're never going to get. As I say, you're never going to get 20 men to agree on anything. <laughs> Even if it's a football club, it's not going to happen. Like, you know what I mean? Or what drink they're drinking. You're never going to get 20 fellas to agree. Yeah, of course. You know, so this, this will kind of gives them an outlet as to they can do with them on different machines, different things to do, different projects all the time. We try to keep things yeah. kind of that you're never doing the one thing all the time, sort of thing. So, you know what I mean? Then, it's amazing the way they all muck in when there's a goal coming up, like we say, for argument's sake, now the Christmas fair is coming up. Everyone mucks in and everybody gets stuck in and you know, gets right, done. Do well, after when that's over, I'm probably all lays around for a while. Like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. part of the game. You know what I mean? Actually, can, you, can you show us a couple of things that you're making for the Christmas fair? Yeah, not a problem. Yeah. That'd be great. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we repairs. That's right. Okay, well, this is the sort of stuff we do. Well, the reason a lot of these are going, women like this sort of thing, but the candle in it is the biggest seller. Women love candles. Hmm. Don't know why, but they love candles. They try to buy, burn the house down all the time. Just to check <laughs> that the insurance is paid, I think. But like, they love it. So that sort of thing. And uh, the dogs and all are gone. the dogs and all this morning. Right. Yeah. That's what I this sort of stuff. These are different things. Now these are key ring holders, jewelry holders, whatever you want for kids, we'll put the flies on them and things like that. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. They'll be at the sort of the, at the fair for Christmas fitters and stuff like that. But they're great. But then we have these as well. They're the little candy as well, just for Christmas, the red and white for Christmas. To be a little red candle stuck in them at the top. Vice versa, with the red ones inside to be a white candle stuck in the top of it. Yeah, yeah. Just to give it the uh, the different variants and different things and uh what are we going up in that like, you know what I mean? Now this would be just our, our winter stock as such. Now, now here we are Christmas logs. We don't do Christmas logs, we try not to compete with other people that are in uh the market up there and that and who do stuff for charities and things like that. So they make the logs, but they make them out uh, what what you would call uh, the branch of a tree or that. Mm -hmm. But we don't, we just colour. There'll be a candle in that and that sort of thing and it looks like it's a Christmas cracker. Yes. You know what I mean? So we kinda of give it the try to we try to do different things that other people don't do. And we get, the lads came up with this that it looks like a Christmas cracker that you put. Yeah. So I said it looks unusual and with the candle in that you look well. You know what I mean? And um, in each of them now there will be a silver Santi or a silver angel or a thing like that as well as the as well as the yeah, okay. yeah. Right. right and we also do them then in the white the candle in it the red candle in it and uh, then we do the owls and we put clocks in and stuff like that and uh, oh, that one there as well it's not hanging on supposed to be an angel hanging on that in silver as well, or a sandy, or a tree, whatever you want, on that one as well. Very good. So, a lot of this stuff, and then we have uh, the penguins, believe it or not. I thought they wouldn't sell, and they would go over. We were already after selling about uh, three of them, I think it is, right? We don't sell stuff, we don't, we seek donations. No, we don't. <laughs> we sell it, right? Right? There's our little Batman, they're phone holders. 
Oh, okay, cool. Right? Mm. So we do that sort of thing in Batman. We do it also in... Um, in Steve. We do it in... Uh, uh, what is it? The Mickey Mouse logo as well. We make the cards as well for kids to play with at Christmas. You know what I'm saying to you? This is the sort of stuff that we put for sale. For a kernel, that we took handles in that one. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Very nice. Yeah, yeah, very it's all just, just stuff to support the shed. And uh, as I say, to pay the Bethany Jones bill. But look, that's, that's part of what it's all about. You know what I mean? We also do um, the cots. Now there have been stickers put on down that for the kids, like in Frozen 2 and Betty, whatever, Blue or whatever her name is and all that sort of stuff. But then we do them in two colours, in blue and what's this? <coughs> in a, <coughs> a light blue and a pink for the kids. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Quick question for you, Matt. Um, you told me the other day that you guys are making these bunny benches. Mm. Can you tell me where they came from and what the idea is behind them? The, the idea of the bunny bench was supposed to be for uh, mental health. If you're not feeling great or that, you could sit down, right? And your friend would sit between you, but there was a little table between us. So you were separate as such. So if you didn't want to talk, someone could sit there until you felt like talking. That mm -hmm. was the original idea of the bunny bench. Right. Now, I incorporated the Woody Bench into all sources for all the people with the bench in it. <coughs> I said if you were on a Zimmer frame or in a wheelchair or anything else, you could still sit in the bench because you had the idea of getting up on both sides. You had support. Did you? Yeah, yeah, on yeah, both yeah, sides. Yeah. But also you could have a cup of coffee, for drink, cigarette, book on it and sit out in the summer and watch it. Sorry. Watch your garden grow, watch the grass grow, whatever you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. But the idea was it was something that would get older people out there who would feel comfortable sitting down where they wouldn't, we'll say, on a long bench because there's only one place to get up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I thought that was a, a very good idea. So we make a good few of them now and we uh, to put them around the place. But they're actually all over Ireland. Mm -hmm. We have them in Antrim, Tyrone, Sligo, Waterford, Wexford, uh, Leash. Ross Common, uh, Mead, West Mead, and Dublin and Wexford. Wow, that's a massive yeah. yeah. firm as well. Yeah. And that was just people coming in through the place here and seeing them who bought them. Yeah. yeah. So like they they get them home however they like, like you know what I mean, but they actually went to see them to think they're great. And especially for all the people for sitting in that like you know what I mean and racking. It is great. And they're, and they're a wide chair. They're for a big person as well. They're not they're not like, uh, if you put two people in a four foot bench, ours are five foot. If you put two people in a four foot bench, they're actually squashed, they're on top of each yeah, other. They are in somebody else's space. While you sit in the buddy bench, you have your space, they have their space between them and that's, that's like you know I mean? that's great. Yeah. Well, Matt, thank you very much for your time, do appreciate it. Right, no problem. But, um, no, um, the whole trick about here. Oh, sorry, come on. Why we're on this? There's also, sorry, there's also the trucks we make. We've only started this this year, you know what I mean, to help go towards it. But most of the wood that you're looking at there now is all recycled. It's all recycled. It's all, yeah, we, we, do, we do our best to recycle almost every piece of timber we can get. There's always a use for it somewhere without going into scrap heap and being burnt and destroying the ozone here and that. Like, you know what I mean? We would be kind of environment friendly like here. Like, yeah, you know of course, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the thing we look at very well, yeah. And uh, this one here, right? I'll leave, leave the devi uh, designs most of these for us, mm -hmm. right? So if you want to go and have a talk with Liam and bring some of these up, you can because Liam would explain them to you a lot, a lot better than me, you know what I mean? <laughs> we and, will, yeah, we will. So Liam, Liam would quite enjoy that. But like, that's solid mahogany, like, you know what I mean? It was being thrown out and we recycled it. Wow. We stripped it back down, cleaned it up. Yes and cut it up so it's just a, just amazing some of the stuff that is thrown out that can be used that can be, can be turned into yeah, an awful lot yeah, of stuff yeah. yeah you know that's fantastic they're great well dumped out wood recycled all recycled wood polished up bit of hand on who made the hat 
Just kidding. Uh, hold me the hat, man. Sorry, man. Sorry. Hold me right. the hat. No, the hat, that was fucking meat messing again, the pecker. <laughs> oh, no, it looked well on it. I'll put it back on it. We've a, lot of, we've, a lot of, we've a lot of kids in here. But there's, there's what we do as well coming up to Christmas <laughs> and that. Fresh. For Liverpool supporters and Manchester United supporters. That. We make them as well. And every bit of timber there is scrap wood as well. It's That's fantastic. what I mean. So we try to recycle it. Right now, what we do is. I'll show you this now, because you'll enjoy this bit. Where do you get wood like that and that from? These are old... These are old wardrobes and table tops and things like that that we pick up. And that's where we can put them on solid wood. Like otherwise that'll be... That there... There, let me hear now. That table there now will be turned into stuff like clocks and stuff for Christmas and stuff like that. Okay. We stripped that down. Someone didn't want that a chair was gone. We reuse the bases of the chairs and that. That's where we get our wits for our dogs and for our stuff like that. Okay, great. All right? Because we also do have two dogs here. One of them is on the Eventually now they will turn out as, as uh, dogs' faces. But their eyes and that will be proud on them and that. Now, unfortunately, I can't even go here. I think we're seeing the other day, didn't we? You see what I'm saying to you? See, the, see when the eyebrows go on them and the nose yeah, yeah, go on them. Yeah, and you yeah. see the cat. That's yeah. what it'll be like afterwards. You know what I mean? I don't know whether you can get that or not. But that's what it'll be like afterwards for planters, like, you know what I mean? There, there'll be 3D. They, all their eyes is raised up, and their nose, their mouth, the little fish, all that sort of thing is all raised up. And like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's something for the lads to do and to use the machines and create things and have a look at what we can or can't make here. But everything there is recycled as well. Right. Yeah, all we do is anything we can get is recycled, even chicken timber here. But like that, then. That will be turned into benches or it will be turned into. Uh, Dog's face, we put it down the middle of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we use so there's no waste. Very little waste. Can we pop in and have a look at Liam and see what Yeah, well, can we use a look up there with Liam? Go ahead. Thanks, man. Come on.